So recently we've heard from a lot of customers that disaster recovery, backup, high availability, high resiliency is their top goal for 2022. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit of how we're addressing that with our offers in Kaylin Catalyst? Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's actually instructive about the way Kaylin Catalyst come to be, right? So a lot of times what will trigger the creation of a catalyst is a repeated customer conversation or a repeated customer need. It's true in this case as well. Like resiliency is top of mind for a lot of customers. And so we're working backwards from that need to understand like how can we jumpstart that conversation? Because a lot of these disaster recovery conversations really start from the, the concept of business value. Like what is it worth to the to the organization to be highly available and like how quickly do they need to be available in a different region or in just in a different availability zone? So we're building a, a short engagement that's a week or two. It's based on workshops. It really takes a deep dive into customer architectures and understands what it'll take and what are the financial implications, what are the technology implications of really becoming resilient to, to failures. So tell me, how do we work with our delivery team to ensure that this catalyst is repeatable? Yeah, that's a good question. So the catalysts aren't just marketing material, right? Whenever we develop a catalyst, we do start from the sort of the idea of a press release or what we call an offering brief that, that specifies the sort of goals that we want to attain. But as we build that out and before it goes to market, we want to make sure that it actually can turn into a statement of work and turn into something that's deliverable. So we involve our practice leads, our subject matter experts, in this case, in our, in our DevOps or our migrations practice to make sure that what we're talking about, we're satisfying the, the needs of, of disaster recovery in this case. So essentially all of our offers are pre-validated pre with our capabilities. Yeah, for sure. Like we don't put something into market that, that can't be delivered. We're not making empty promises because a lot of times the Kaelin Catalysts are our first introduction to a customer. So we don't want to show up, even if it is a short engagement, we don't want to show up and, and have something that, that leaves a customer dissatisfied. What is the outcome of the DR Catalyst? Yeah, so effectively it, it ends up being a report. A lot of our catalysts, there's an engineering output. With DR, we acknowledge that, that you're not going to do DR in a week or two for, for a customer. So the output in this case is more of a, a report presenting the trade-offs of different architectures, presenting an understanding of the customer's needs and the value accordingly. So it goes from everything from most customers that just need backups offsite are probably not going to be a good fit for this, but like that's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is sort of in the active architecture where we might have multiple regions that are that are active in, at a given moment. So the customer really has zero downtime kinds of situations. But it's that it's, it's understanding the costs and benefits to the business so that uh, they can make an uh, informed decision on investments for the next phase of like actually implementing these. So the output is um, a set of recommendations, right? For disaster recovery and backup. Is it up for the customer to implement it themselves or is it something that Kaylin can help with? Yeah, that's an, always an option. So we wanna give we wanna give customers a, a valuable roadmap, an idea of what the backlog looks like in terms of engineering efforts and sort of the North Star for where this is going. But there's always the, the case that engineering teams are strapped. They have a product roadmap that they're already building out. So we're, we're there, we have engineering capacity to help them or we can sort of do the DR catalyst and, and you know, leave that as the artifact and they can take that onto their own roadmap. So there's some optionality as to, to how the customer takes those recommendations forward.